garden friends. I am here with science kit number 11. This is our third week working on trees and we are learning this week about the tree life cycle. So for this activity, this is for our TK, kinder, and first graders. You're going to want to get your science notebook. You're going to want a pencil with an eraser. And then you may want some crayons, colored pencils, markers, uh, whatever you like to color with. And then you'll need some scissors and you'll need a glue stick. So we've got instructions here that tell you a little bit about what we're learning. Trees grow just like many other plants do. They start from a seed. This week we will learn about the stages in a tree's life cycle and terminology, the scientific words, to describe these stages. Pine trees are in a group of plants called gymnosperms. These are also called coniferous trees. This means naked seed. Think of how an apple protects its seeds. A gymnosperm does not have that protection. A pine tree's seeds are in the air attached to the pine cone. Just like with flowers on fruit and vegetable plants, when the pollen from a male pine cone reaches a female pine cone, it fertilizes the cone so seeds can grow. When the seeds are ready, the pine tree will drop the cone to the florist, <laughs> forest floor. Animals may take the pine cone apart to eat the seeds, or the pine cone may gradually break down with exposure to wind, rain, and sunshine. Some seeds will have the chance to sprout and grow, and then the cycle begins all over again. Oak trees are in a group of plants called angiosperms, also called deciduous trees. This means enclosed seed. Angiosperms produce their seeds inside of a fruit. Sometimes this is what we think is of a fruit that we can eat, a soft, fleshy, and sweet fruit like an apple or a peach. There are other foods that are also classified as a fruit in botany or the science of plant life. Even though from a culinary or cooking perspective, we may think of them as something else, like a grain, such as rice and wheat, a vegetable, corn, pumpkin and tomato, or spices like chili pepper and allspice. The fruit protects the seed until it is ripe and helps to disperse the seed. Animals will often eat the fruit and deposit the seeds away from the parent plant. So if you haven't updated your KWL chart in your science notebook yet, take a minute to do that now. Remember our KWL chart is what we know, what we want to know, and what we've learned about trees. And since this is our third week, you ought to have lots of stuff in your learned column, and maybe you have new things that you want to learn in your W column. So once you've updated your KWL, then you can come do your worksheets. So for my TK through first graders, you have two life cycle worksheets. Let me show you what those look like. So here is a pine tree. Oh, sorry, it's very slippery on my table. Here's our pine tree life cycle. And then here is our oak tree life cycle. And so these are similar to a lot of the worksheets we've done before, and I think you probably have the hang of it. So you can see here, I've got number one, two, three, four. And I have four stages of the oak tree's life cycle down here. So I wanna know which one comes first. Now, you're gonna cut them out. Try to cut on the blue dotted line if you can. do the best that you can. You don't have to worry about it being exactly perfect. This is supposed to be fun as well as educational, right? So we're learning, but we're having a good time doing something kind of artsy. Okay, so if I am working on my oak tree life cycle, I know that my end here, it's going to be the whole tree, right? And I know that plants start as seeds. 
Now the seed of an oak tree is an acorn. So I know that's gonna be number one. So the next, the two and three that I have left here, I have a sprout and I have a seedling. And for those of you that have been in the garden with me before, I'm pretty sure you'll be familiar with these terms. You can tell the sprout still looks like he's attached to the seed. So that gives you a hint that that is number two in the oak tree life cycle. And the seedling is a little bit bigger, so it's starting to look more like a tree, but it's not totally fully grown. So that goes in number three. So you're gonna glue those each in place, and then if you'd like, after the glue is dry, you can come back and you can color them in. You're gonna do the same process with your pine tree. We have a few more steps in our pine tree life cycle. It looks like six, I see six numbers there. What do you think? Here, I'm gonna cut this off so it can get a little closer to my camera. There we go. So you can see this one is arranged kind of in a circle. So I'm gonna go with number one is gonna be what my seed is, right? So let's see if I have on here, I do, I have a seed. So right here, it's showing you there's the pine cone and it's showing you how the seeds come out of the pine cone. So I know my seed has to be the first part of my life cycle. There we go, number one. Now, I have five others to choose from here to figure out where I'm gonna go next. Now, if you've already done the oak one, you might remember sprout. Oh, you guys. I just discovered something. I skipped a step, look at this one. I wonder if this is the end or if this is the beginning. It could almost be either, because it's a circle, right? Oh, how fun. Okay, so sprouts follow seeds. Here we go, see the sprout? So there's my sprout. And then, so in our oak tree, we called it a seedling but another term for a young tree is called a sapling, S-A-P-L-I-N-G. So I have a sapling in my pine tree life cycle. Next, I'm going to have a fully grown tree. And after the tree gets to be a certain age, it's going to form pine cones. So that says cones form. So my cones form, and then pollination. So after those cones form, they have to be pollinated, and then they create seeds, right? So look at that. You've got a circle in your pine tree life cycle. After you glue these down and wait for the glue to dry, go ahead and color them if you would like. I bet you can make them really look fantastic. Remember to, to glue these into your science notebook so you have all of your garden work all together in that same place. Alrighty, that was the tree life cycle worksheet for TK through first grade. Thanks garden friends.